and sitting in with her. You've got to have, we haven't talked to you since all these scandals broke with Sandra Bullock and Jesse James and all that other. All these guys. Well, you know what, every guy that gets caught having an affair, it's because you're having affairs with women in their 20s. You know, and they're going to text people, they're going to tell all their well, friends, their Facebook. I'm saying if you... A tattooed like, Nazi woman is probably not a good person to have an affair with. <laughs> well, and, and too young. If you want to get away with it, have an affair with a woman in her 40s. I'm not going to text anybody. I'm not putting you on Facebook. I'm too tired. I'm not even letting you spend the night. That's how much I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to clip your mittens back on your coat and tell you to go home. I've got hoarders to watch, and I like to watch them well. So you're looking at me when you're saying that. Is that a hint? No, I'm saying every guy. <laughs> no, she turned and looked straight at me after you yeah. said that. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, that lady, like the the, Sandra, the one that he's with, and I, I, it's a little over the top. But I guess he answered, she answered an ad. He put an ad on something. Yeah. Like need a, yeah, he always does this on something. Facebook, and people come by the garage, and then he says, hey, come on back, let me show you my yeah. office. Yeah, so oh, my, my wife and I are separated for a while while she's filming. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> and we have, a, we have congratulations going out to, uh, Ch well, formerly Chastity Bono, now Chaz. She, or he, I guess, is legally a man. Now, how do you be legally a, a man? You go to man. court, right? A like, <laughs> fat man. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. If you're going to go through all this trouble, first just go to a gym. How about let's just get you a weight that's within 100 pounds of what you should be. <laughs> and, and then we will decide what sex you should be. But who operate? I mean, really, what doctor says, okay, you're 500 pounds overweight, but I'm going to go ahead and do all this. I mean, it seems yeah. very irresponsible. I mean, they, they tell me, well, we don't know if we can do this procedure because, I don't know, Kelly, you're not really that great a shape. Well, I'm within 500 pounds of my ideal weight. <laughs> I, mean, I don't, to go all that way to be a guy in a suit, but now you're just a, a fat guy. But i got to be honest, if I'm going into the bathroom and now that person's legally a man, she is or he is, I still would be weirded out having... Her or him if or the whatever it is. Next to you? Yeah, yeah and but look she, at her. She would have to tell you because otherwise she looks like any other. Matter of fact, she looks like Uncle Cracker. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's an insult to Cracker. I'm going to tell Uncle him <laughs> that you said that. And remember, he's from Mount Clemens. He can kill you. But you know what? I always thought it would be great if Chaz or Chaz or whatever was your sibling because there's nothing really I could ever do that would shock my parents more than that. That's like the final trump right? card. You, could, you know what I mean? Like, you could come home and go, I'm having an affair. I could come home and go, Dad, I'm having an affair with a married man. He's got seven children. He's living on that. But Pat's 